This right here is the best mouse Zowie refuses to make. Let's talk about it. Let's go! So, let's start by talking about the build quality because that's obviously very important on such a lightweight fucking mouse. The mouse itself is built pretty fucking well. Like, of course, a 70 gram Bexy or a 80 gram G305 is gonna weigh uh, more but also have better build quality. Yes, feels more sturdy, but this mouse still is built extremely fucking well, especially if you consider the price. And generally, Pulsar has had a pretty good fucking track record with QC. As far as I know, I haven't really heard of a lot of issues with them. Like, for example, my x V1 that I bought used had some issues, but in, to be honest, they aren't too prevalent. And um, yeah... So there are made uh, small issues and they might just appear on a tiny amount of a batch, let's say. And this weight is also really fucking good. 53 grams. Perfectly fine weight. I don't really need anything lighter than that. Like, of course, lighter might be better. But I personally think now that we have wireless and the rest down, let's just like focus on shapes. Because right now we don't really have a lot of new shapes. Yeah, well, it's already talking about the shape. This shape is not unique at all, in my opinion. It's a, it's an EC shape in small. Like, this is what the EC3 should have been, in my opinion, instead of a shorter EC2. But yeah, um, here we are. And Zowie refuses to make wireless, lightweight, and lightweight wireless. And Pulsar is making all of those. So, yeah, shape as I already mentioned, EC, like um, it's of course a downsized version of the regular x -Lad. And in my opinion, like this bulge outwards on the back right on the back right side could have been a bit bigger on the x V2 Mini, in my opinion, simply because I, to be honest, truly do like it. That's also why I have the NPO1S, this one also has this bigger outward bulge. I don't know a better word for that. And the x well, Mini, whilst it still has it, it's um, smaller. And, and yeah, other than that, I don't have any issues with the shape. Besides, like, general, I'm, I'm not an ergo head. And this mouse is like a full on ergo. Like, it's still small, and that absolutely makes it usable without any grip style issues because when I first started using the regular x -Lite, I fell back to using Palm and obviously couldn't perform with that because I've not been using Palm and Palm is not the optimal for best performance, in my opinion. Yeah, the clicks are slanted like as they are on your run-of-the-mill Ergo. I personally would have liked it if it would have been like on the NPO1S or the Vex uh, or the Extrify M4. I really like those two shapes. Um, but yeah, still was fine using it. And yeah, performed pretty decently. Uh, I'll talk about that later though. Let's continue by talking about the clicks. They're KLGMA Panos. They're pretty, pretty good, pretty well tensioned. Uh, still sort of stiff because it's well out, a single click design thingy. And yeah, they're sort of stiff, like they could be lighter weight. But I didn't mind using them, and they are pretty satisfying. And well, still, they obviously feel better than opticals because opticals still aren't all the way there, but they're close. That's what we've seen on the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Yeah, let's continue by talking about the scroll. That's pretty fucking good in my opinion. It's it's tactile. You feel the steps, and you also won't have. Uh, I personally at least didn't have any issues like similar on, as on the Viper Mini or the any final mouse where you simply just um, have it stuck in the middle and it falls back or forward and you have those ghost scrolls or accidental scrolls or whatever. I haven't had those and that's very fucking good. Uh, enough with the scroll wheel. Let's continue by talking about the skates. The skates, uh, I, I, they, they took some time to get used to. Or to break in, rather, um, because at the beginning they sort of scratched on my pad and uh, it was not a good feeling. Um, but after some time, 
uh, they simply just broke in. The edges were less scratchy, less edgy, like less, I don't know. They don't scratch my pad anymore when using it regularly. So that's that's an alpha with the skates. Let's go over to the sensor. The sensor is the 3070. It's been implemented very well. I'm my, uh, either I'm imagining it or it truly is better than uh, on the V1, but I have the feeling uh, it's, it's slightly better. And yeah, it's fine by me. I personally enjoy using both. And yeah, it's good implemented on both, but the uh, V2 Mini or generally the V2, I think, just has a MCU upgrade and therefore it might feel better implemented or something. Um, yeah, the battery life it also seems pretty fucking good. I had it for a month now and for two weeks ago it went below 25% and it might be again, but it hasn't really blinked red multiple times. Let's talk about performance and finish your thought with the conclusion afterwards. So that performance with that mouse, um, at the beginning I did not perform very well. I did not enjoy using this mouse, um, but after some time, after two weeks it got better, then I sort of stopped using it a lot. And then after one week I came back and the last week I've been playing a lot with it. And I gotta say, I'm re I've started to like it. My flicks were apps were insane at some po uh, point and not on on one day on multiple days uh the thing is um then again my tracking wasn't like and yeah my flick shots were insane like i was hitting headshot after headshot yeah but my tracking then when i swapped was not good so maybe i just need to practice tracking more with that mouse but generally it's yeah, it's harder for me at least to track better with that mouse compared to and you know, to all the mice. Um yeah, that's generally it. Um it's conclusion time. Uh this mouse is pretty fucking good, especially for the price. It weighs fifty-three grams, builds extremely well, skates, clicks, scroll wheel, everything, sends a battery life. Absolutely insane. Like for that price, holy fuck. If you like Ergos absolutely hands down get this mouse this this is what Zhao should be making but instead they're liking uh, they're they're letting pulls out take their money if you're not sure if you're gonna like it i can't really recommend you getting this mouse since it's still not hella cheap like g305 or something um but if you're even slightly interested and i guess you are if you are watching this video i might really recommend it this mouse because it's just small so you can still sort of grip it like your symmetrical mice but not too big like uh, the regular x slide so that you fall back into a palm grip or something so if you want to try out ergo mice get this one i'm just gonna stop talking now leave a like and a sub down below stay home stay safe cheerio